Hey, this is Mr. Mason Dan, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice finding the area of a shaded region of a given figure. Now this figure here is basically a circle with a lot of smaller circles inside of it. So imagine that this was just one solid circle here and then someone took a hole puncher and punched a bunch of holes in it and we eliminated part of this circle's area. Well, what's remaining is the shaded portion. So the strategy anytime that you see a problem asking for the area of a shaded region is to find the entire area of the shaded and unshaded all combined and then subtract from that the area of the unshaded region and what you will have remaining is the shaded region of the figure. So let's start by finding the area of this main figure which is a circle. Now to find the area of any circle we must take pi and multiply it by the radius to the second power. So looking at the circle's radius it is given that from point A to point B which is its radius is seven and a half centimeters. So what we're going to do is substitute pi with the value 3.14 and we're going to substitute r with 7.5 or 7.5 and we have to square that. So let's go ahead and do just that. So we're going to take 7.5 and multiply that by 7.5. 5 times 5 is 25. We carry the 2. 5 and 7 is 35 plus 2 is 37. We put a 0 here. 7 times 5 is 35. We carry the 3. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 3 is 52. So we add these values together and we get 5 here, 12 here, 6 in this column, and a 5. And we have two place values after both of our decimals. So our decimal goes here, giving us a product of 56 and 25 hundredths. Now we have to take this value and multiply it by pi, or 3.14. So let's go ahead and write 3.14 directly underneath 56.25, and let's see what that produces. All right, so we have 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 2 we carried is 10, so we put a 0 here and carry the 1, 4 times 6 is 24, plus the 1 is 25, we carry a 2, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Now we're finished with this place value, so we put a 0 here, and 1 times 5, 6, 2, 5 is 5, 6, 2, 5. Now we're finished with this place value, so now we must place two zeros at the bottom. 3 times 5 is 15. We carry a 1. 2 and 3 is 6, plus that one I carried is 7. 3 times 6 is 18, so we put 8 here and carry a 1. And 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. And we're going to add up all of these columns together. So we have a 0 here, a 5 here. We have 12 here. We have 13 plus 3 is 16. We have 16 in this column. And we have a 7 here and a 1. And we have a total of four digits after these two decimals. So we go to the bottom where our answer is and we move our decimal four places to the left. So we would say the area of this circle, if it were entirely shaded, is 176 and 625 thousandths square centimeters. Notice that I got rid of the zero here at the end. It is unnecessary. If you ever have a zero at the end of a value and it's after a decimal, we can just eliminate that zero. So what we have to do now is figure out what the total area is of all these small white circles here, and then take that total and then subtract it from this total right here to figure out what the area of the shaded region is. All right, what we have to do now is determine what is the area of one of these smaller circles here. So what we're going to need to find is the radius of each one of these smaller circles. Now notice that they don't straight up give us the distance halfway across any of these circles, but they do tell us the distance from A to B, which is seven and a half. So what we're going to do here is this. We're going to start at A and make a mark here, and we're going to mark off everywhere we see a radius length. So from here to here is one radius, 
from here halfway is another radius and then from here to here is another radius length and from here to here is another radius length and from here to here we have another one so if we start at a we have exactly one two three four five radius lengths so we can take seven and a half and we can divide that equally into five parts to see what the length of each radius actually is. Now we're going to take this decimal and move it up and take 7.5 and divide it by 5, which is going to give us a quotient of 1.5. All right, now that we know the radius of each one of these smaller circles, we're going to go ahead and take pi and multiply it by 1.5 to the second power. All right, so we're going to take 3.14 and multiply that by 2.25, which is the square of 1.5. I just haven't memorized that 15 times 15 is 225. So I just pretended that this was 15 and did 15 times 15, which is 225. And I knew that there would be two decimal places after our decimal. So what we're going to do now is multiply 3.14 by 2.25. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. So we're going to multiply 3.14 by 2.25. So we're going to take 4 and multiply that by 225. Well, I know that 4 times 200 is 800, and 4 times 25 is 100. So if I put 800 together with 100, that gives us 900. Now we're done with this number here, so we're going to put a 0 right there. And 1 times 225 is 225. Now we have to put two zeros here and multiply the 3 by everything on the top. Now 3 times 2 is 600, and or should I say 3 times 200 is 600. And 3 times 25 is 75. So 3 times 225 would be 675. All right. So we add up all of these columns here. We have 0 here, 5 here. Here we have a total of 16. Here we have a total of 10. And here we have a total of 7. And now we have to put our decimal in the correct place, which would be right here. So we would say the area of one of these smaller circles is about seven square centimeters. But what we have to remember is we have nine of these circles and they are congruent to each other. So we're gonna take 7.065. Remember, we can delete all ending zeros and multiply by nine to see what the total area is of those nine smaller circles. So 9 times 5 is 45. We carry the 4. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 4 is 58. We carry the 5. So this would give us a 5 here. And 9 times 7 is 63. And we have three places after our decimal, so we place our decimal right here. All right. So what we're going to do now is take this area and we are going to subtract it from the area of the entire figure. And what we will have remaining is the area of the shaded region. All right, so we got to drop our decimal down. And this column is 0. 62 minus 58 is 4. So I am going to write 0, 4 right here. And here we have a 3, a 1, and a 1 and we can get rid of all ending zeros. Now don't forget the problem told us to round to the nearest tenths place. So this digit right here, the zero is in the tenths place. And looking next door, this four is not large enough for us to round this up to a one. So what we can do is simply drop the hundredths place because we are supposed to express our answer to the nearest tenths place. So we would say that the area of the shaded region is approximately equal to 100 13 square centimeters.